Hello everybody and welcome back to New Life. Man, I love doing that. Our wood production has been doing fantastic over here. I am still king of the wood. Ow, wood daddy for short. Wood production is at an all time high right now. Look at it go, bloop. And I know this place is fully automated, but I would like a little bit of life to be walking around here or floating, if anything. And I know just the friends around the corner that can help us. Because right behind our house over here, there's a pillager outpost. And I've noticed along with the pillagers over here that there's a couple full of cages full of these little cute blue guys so i think we should go on in there rescue them and bring them back to our factory so they can live and work and have a good time free my friends <laughs> you guys are so slow let me free my friends over here hi do you need a place to go oh that's pretty cool don't worry i got you oh they're just shooting themselves here grab that don't shoot my blue friends Look at all these guys. <laughs> so dumb. Where'd my other friend go? Oh, here he is. Hello. Here. Come with me. Oh, we have more guys to free. Come on down. Oh, would you like to be free and hurt these guys? All right. Go ahead. Get your captors. Oh. You got a friend in me. Let me have a little bit of a drink while you guys fight amongst yourselves. <laughs> Get out. Gotta make sure not to blow up my friends while I'm doing that. Wee! We're all floaty boys here. <laughs> this is cool. And float away. I don't think they can cross over, so you guys are fine. <laughs> oh, look at all my blue friends that I have now. <laughs> this is cool. They won't bother you ever again. Let's go home. Man, it feels good doing good deeds. Um, just look like a little porcupine, but that's fine. It's okay. And I have my friends hanging out all over. This right here is my storage assistant. This is my farm hand. Hello. This friend right here is in charge of the barn. This is my bee warehouse supervisor. Hi. And I got my wood warehouse assistants. <laughs> this is so cute. Thanks for all your wood help. Oh, and while I'm here in the warehouse, I got some new fan art to show you. And there it is. This is so cool. This is by Raps. Look how awesome this is with the stained glass inside this very building. <laughs> that looks so good. You're in the way. You're blocking the art. Thank you. <laughs> but that looks awesome, right? And keep the art coming. Just make sure whenever you post it somewhere, just put hashtag mythical sauces fan art. And I'm going to add it to our world. <laughs> Look at this. Raps. <laughs> what a beautiful painting. Now, there's something really fun that I want to do today. See, Flip added some cool graffiti over here. This one says New Life. And he tagged up over here, Flip. And I just noticed something. I actually have some mythical sausage graffiti that I can add to the server. And just like Flip did, by putting it in probably everybody's base, I'm going to do the same thing and put it in everybody else's base too. Let's drop it right here so you can see it. <laughs> there it is. That's a lot of cool. All right. You know what? I'm putting this everywhere. I made 17 graffiti cans. <laughs> Let's go tag up the server. Starting with Jem. Let's see. Where would be a good spot to put my graffiti tag? Oh, this looks like a good spot. Oh, baby. There it is. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Here at Catlandia. Uh, how about I put it uh, in Catherine's shoulder like a tattoo? Oh, perfect. Oh, we're in Martin's dollop. Right over here. Perfect. Over here at Pearl's place. Oh, look at that. How nice. I'm going to hide mine up here in the tower. Nailed it. Over here in Pix's place, I'm gonna hide it right about here. Here at Shelby's, where can I hide this? I'm gonna put it right down here. The perfect spot. Over here at Joel's, I'm gonna put it right in the back of this tower here. Oh, let's center it. <laughs> nice. Over at Flips, hmm. Somebody already tagged the back. It's gonna go above it. <laughs> there we go. Let the graffiti wars begin. Over at Scar's area, oh my god. I haven't been here since he made all this, so oh, this looks so crazy good. What? Look at this place. The plane. The runway. The taxi area. Okay. Actually, instead of graffiti, I got something a little special I could put for Scar. I think he's going to like it. And I think this is just the perfect spot. And look at that. A Top Gun movie poster billboard. <laughs> that looks so good. He's going to love this. It's also signed by Tom Cruise. That's right. I got it signed. Don't ask how I got the signature. A rare one-of-a-kind treat for my friend Scar. <laughs> yeah, look at that. And he adds floating. It's just on one dirt block hovering above the sky. <laughs> he can move it and put it anywhere he wants after that. He's definitely going to love this, though. <laughs> so cool. Wait. What is this? Mythical sausage. You have threatened good guy. 
You nearly killed me. I demand an apology. I also demand that you stop this foolery or you will pay the price of good guy's justice. Are you for real right now? Listen, he started with me. He flooded my house. I could have logged in and died. He started this. Yeah, me putting a spotter inside his house was kind of dangerous, but at the same time, it was just as dangerous as putting water all over my house. So technically, he started it. Remember this, he started this. You know what? I'll stay away from good guy. But if he comes back here looking for trouble, just like every other bad guy that's come down here looking for trouble, he's gonna be the one in trouble. I must prepare. I'm gonna set up a little bit of a trap over here. My friends are gonna help me. Step number one, let's get rid of these trees. We need space to lay this trap. Do a little terraforming as well. Do a little sleepy time. Yep, this is enough space. Hi, Rusty. Hi. How you doing? Oh, hopefully you're doing great. Thanks. Oh, that's really cool. Listen, do you want to help me out? Usually I know you say no. No. Okay, hear me out. This is for Jimmy. I'm going to prank him. I'm going to technically, well, I'm going to lay a trap for him. Uh, would you like to help with this? Yes. Cool. <laughs> All right. I knew you would do it for that. Now we're going to be building something we haven't built yet. And that is a redstone link. We're going to make two of those. From that, we're going to make a controller. And with these two things, we can do some wireless stuff. Ain't that right, Rusty? Yes. Haha. <laughs> and I want to make this thing a stockpile switch. I got no idea what it does, but it kind of looks like a camera. And I'm taking this inspiration from Owen. You'll see what I mean later on. All right. I think I got everything that I need. It's time to set up the trap. And stage number one of this awesome trap is complete. We got ourselves a lovely sign pointing down saying, good guy, look over here. <laughs> you know I love my signs. And this is definitely enticing enough for him to be like, whoa, good guy, what is that? Oh, look at that little twisty little thing. That's a cute windmill. So now the technical things. Now I dug a little pit behind this pit and we're gonna be putting a piston facing this direction, block of redstone and a sticky piston right about, oh, the other way. This way. Now over here on the side, I'm gonna grab that redstone link. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna shift and right click it and we get that little receiver thingy. It's like a little satellite dish. Then I have my controller and I pair it to that one. So now if I were to open my controller and press shift, it does that. Retracts that bad boy right here. And you probably know where this is going. Just have to replace that one. Cover this whole thing back up. Make a bunch of pink carpet and stack these in here with our lovely bit of sign action around here. Then we have ourselves a lovely trap. Good guy comes over, asks me what I'm doing. I say nothing much, just taking a picture. You wanna take a selfie? You know, maybe we put this bad stuff behind us. Okay, stand right here. Oh, hold on, now say cheese. Oh yeah, this is a little controller. Boop, bam. And we're falling uh, to certain death. Uh, but that's pretty much it. What do you think of my trap? Only thing is I need to uh, fill this with something cool. I'll keep that as a surprise. Good trap, good trap. Oh, hi, I'm just hanging out here on top of my wood warehouse like a gargoyle. And I noticed that a uh, certain good guy is online right now. Hmm, maybe I should um, call him over and see if he would like to chat. There we go, let's see what he says. Oh, he's on his way, all right. This is gonna be fun. Oh, oh, oh. my gosh. Hello. It's Mary Poppins. It's me. Oh, I don't have my umbrella. Sorry, let me do this again. Oh, uh, yeah, do it again. Do it again. Sorry. Here it is. Hi. Oh, my gosh. It's Mary Poppins. It's me, y'all. It's me. Mary it's Poppins. Me. Oh, I'm Mary Poppins. I'm assuming that you, you got my message. Yeah, yeah. I saw the signs. So you're here to kill me. Huh? Is that it? No. No. I'm good guy, dude. I wouldn't kill you. I just... I need you to know that yep. what you did yep. was a bad thing, uh, and I'm I, I I take threats really seriously here on the server. I'm looking out for everybody. I'm looking out for you. You were giving me threats. How can I look out for you? I'm so sorry. Listen, I would like to tell you something that I, I I've been holding on to this for a very long time. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for what I did. I apologize. Okay, I. I I accept your apology oh. into my heart. I do. Yeah. I really do. Yeah, you really tried to kill me the other day uh, by putting water all over my base. I could have instantly died when I came online, but you know what? I took it too far. I went to your house. I returned the favor, put a spawner. Hopefully you will get in trouble, maybe die a little bit, and maybe just get hurt a little bit. And I really, really want to say I'm sorry. I, I almost killed I you, and I'm sorry. Okay. 
I thought I was helping you with the water. What do you no. mean? It, what did what, it do? When I get moist, Jimmy, I die. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, the water kills I me. Did, no, I was. I thought you you throwing fireballs everywhere. Yes. On mistake on see I, on mistake on purpose. I thought if he does that in his house, no fire, no the house comes down. I thought. Put no. water down, make sure it's stable. But I would have died. Was that a bad thing? Yeah, I oh, would have okay. died. I would have stepped down on it. If I t took a little bit to log in, I would have died. And it would have been over for Gas Boy. I would have been so sad. A whole community of people would have been disappointed, sad. And, and they would just do memorials for me all day. Well, Sausage, I <laughs> apologize to Oh, you we that. both apologize. Oh, this is so sweet. Thank let's, you so much for hug. being apologetic. Oh, did you just, oh, that's what? too forward. That's Sorry. Too, just a hug. Just a hug. Okay. Just a, there you go. D Butterfly kisses. Yeah, butterfly. Yeah. yeah. Mwah. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, oh, thank you. There you go. Oh, there so you nice. Go. And you know there what? You go. I was anticipating you might have shown up over here and maybe caused some more problems. And I wanted to let you know, no matter what would have mm -hmm. happened, I wanted to say I was sorry. So I built you this over here. Good, good guy. guy. Yeah, it's for you. Dude, this looks so impressive. Yeah, right? Wait. It matches the area perfectly and it's all for you. Come. Wait, it kind of looks like a V. So it kind of looks like good gov. <laughs> <laughs> listen, Gov. Listen, listen, mate. It's, it's not Gov. Gov. It's not Gov. It's it's Ooh, Guy. Gov. It's Guy. Okay, Hi, it's dude. Guy. I love this. It's the this slow cute. windmill. Yeah. The the arrow. Wait, what's over here? Is, what do you think it is? What does it look like? Is that a camera? Yeah. Wait, is... It's a camera. Are we gonna have a photo together? Yeah. This is what this is. I want to go ahead and I want to invite you over and maybe we can invite other people over and we can do like selfies and pictures and we can even sell your pictures to the people, almost like a look a Comic Con convention style. They could get good guy photos? Yeah. With a good guy stand? Exactly. Oh, my... I think okay. this is for you. All right. All right? This is the coolest we, thing. We... Is this going to be our first one then together? Yeah. I look, and, and this is super technological because I even have a remote control, so I don't have to go over there, run back, and you know, get in position. I could just press this button, and all of a sudden, boop, boop, camera, picture, take it. All right. Ready? Okay. Oh. Let's, let's take one together then. Okay. This right, is going to be so good. Where is the control? Oh, I have it in my hand. Right here. Oh my gosh, right, Look at that. okay. It's so okay. Cool. Get in, oh. get in frame. Let me get get it. Get, get, in little, frame. get it right there. Okay, perfect. Oh, you know what? Is oh. this the perfect place? I think this is a perfect space. You know what this reminds me of? This is gonna be your canon event. My canon event? Yeah. This is the spot and the time where you change and become the best superhero there is. Every superhero what? has one. Yeah. Alright, say canon event. Canon event, baby! Woo! Let's, Let's go! go! <laughs> Woo! Hi, Jimmy! Um, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> yep. Now that's a canon event. Aw, look at the little good guy head. I guess we can get rid of this now. Like nothing ever happened. Now that the Kill Jimmy side quest is done, we can get to work and build some cool things. Ding dong. Now this next thing that I want to build is very important to any base. We got some cool stuff around here, right? So far in our area, we have a starter house, we have a barn, we have farming, we have wood collection, we even have a waystone area that people could come and visit us. But what we don't have is an enchanting and brewing building. And our friend Jim across the way has this beautiful tower right there that does everything that I want to do. So why don't we build our own? It's like the two towers. She has hers, I have mine. And it's also going to be nether themed because, um, you know, I'm a guest and all. It, it, it makes sense. And as far as the location, I think this spot right here is perfect. It connects all the other builds around here together. Then we can connect the path to go around it. And it's right behind that death statue. Oh, that's so perfect. So let's collect some materials, starting with some in the nether. So I grabbed a little bit of basalt, and I needed a lot of blackstone. So we got that done. And then I um, killed a bunch of Gem's family members because I needed some blaze rods and stuff. So don't judge me. And then I chopped up some warped wood, and I heard some nasty thing back there, and it was shooting some laser beams. So I uh, I got out. And then I went down into the mines, and I got a bunch of deep sleep. Get out of there. I'm about to build some. And I think with that, we have this bag, this one, and this one. Full of goodies to build ourselves our very first enchanting alchemy tower. <laughs> Let's go.
check this out oh man this looks really cool what do you guys think of our alchemy and enchanting tower got this big old windmill here on the side which is going really really fast compared to our other windmills look at the difference between these two there's a power or anything yet but if we need power we got it We've got some tanks here on the side pumping in all kinds of goop on the inside tanks on the top to keep extra storage of things Imaginary storage. This doesn't really keep any storage, but it looks like it does. And we got a really cool balcony over here on the corner with more pipes. Also connected the path over here from the back end going into our warehouse and then coming around here connects it all the way around. But let me show you the interior. It's so cool in here. Got a bunch of stuff from the nether here on the outside. It's a little flaming pits. But then when you come on in right here, this is our alchemy station. Got some of this alchemist tables and also some brewing stands. A bunch of storage here on the top, hanging plants, and our nether wart area. Over here on this side, we got some lovely statues. And we got more fan art right here. This was the perfect spot to add a new one. This one here is by Ferrat. Thank you so much. Look how cool that looks in here. A little spark coming out of my fingertips. <laughs> so cool. And over here we got our lovely library-like area with a bunch of different bookshelves. And over here with our little enchanting station, it should do a full level 30. Yep, it does. Potato recovery. Huh. So we got regular books on the bottom and all these cool little chisel books on the top. Then going upstairs, got this cool little desk area here. And another spot for more fan art. Look at this one. This is by Skrill. Oh, so cool. Look how beautiful and lovely and fashionable I am. Are those fingerless gloves? Yep, that's fashion. And I got a little music player right here. Uh, this is the only disc I have, so um, yeah. Mm-hmm. 13. I gotta find some more music. Um, it's it's okay. Uh, this is all. It's pretty good for now. It's very atmospheric. Let's leave it on while I go upstairs and show you the top top. And over here we got a little seating area, more books, some nice candelabras, and some nether plantage. Ah, what a beautiful night. Oh, and I got this spot right here too. A little seating area, but this is only for fly people. People can float up to the top because there's no way to get up here from down below. Yep, this is exclusive. Oh. Never got this far into the disc. I didn't know there were uh, those sounds in it. <laughs> uh, now that our alchemy section is all set up, why don't we do some potions? This will be fun. Let's just put water in all of these. Put some extra bottles up top. And let's see what we can make. Let's grab some nether wart. Let's get some of this brown mushroom and some of this red mushroom. Drop some in here. Nether wart time. While we do that one, let's do this one as well. So another nether wart. More powder. I'm going to drop the brown one on this one and the red one on this one. These two make sense together. You'll see. And now we got some shrinking. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we got some growing. Oh, so cool. I'll be the guinea pig. Let's test this out. Starting with growing. Yummy. Oh, delicious. Oh, man. That had a little bit of a hibiscus taste to it with a little bit of mint. Delicious. Nom nom nom. Now the cool thing about being a gas is that if I jump like this, I go twice as high. Oh, this is awesome. Now I'm curious. After drinking this, if I try the shrinking one, would it shrink me to a small version of the giant or would it just take me all the way down to the bottom? Yep. This just takes me back to normal. If I drink it again though, it doesn't do anything. Okay, good guinea pigness. Oh, because I have both of them at the same time. This just... This just makes me me. Okay, we're beta testing so people in the world don't have to. Here's knowledge for you. There's a little up and down arrow on uh, the side. Um, I just wasted uh, the... Okay, I, I can make more. No worries. Oh, no. I shrunk all the way down now. It's okay. It'll go away. Oh, I can hardly jump either. Let me see if I have little fireballs. No, still big. Now this next one's pretty cool. I have no idea what it does, but we're gonna test this out. So we're gonna make a, a thick potion, as thick as what it's called. We're gonna put some glowstone here first. Then I'm gonna grab some nether brick, put that in here, and we make a potion of gravity. Let's make this into splash, and I'm gonna see if this works how I think it works. I really should be talking to a professional before I do any of these things, uh, but you know what? We learn as we go. I might ask Jen for help next time. Let's go find a random friend around here. Oh, hello, yellow sheep. Do you mind if I splash you with this and see what happens? <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, oh, huh? Oh, nothing's happening. I thought we just have like anti-gravity or something. You float away. What do you have, just slow falling then? Huh. Oops, if you guys know what this does. 
let me know. Now this next one, I think is gonna be a fun one. I just need a little bit of dirt. Put some nether wart, and then drop some dirt. And this right here makes some potions of crumbling. Let's make it splash. And maybe we can do some carpet bombing in Minecraft. So I'm just gonna test this over here on this side <laughs> real quick. I don't wanna mess up my grounds. Come here, my friend, let's do this together. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh! I'm breaking the ground! <laughs> Whoa! He's doing it too! The cow's doing it too! The cow's doing it! <laughs> oh, wow! We're both doing it! Okay, it doesn't work on stone, but it does work on grass. Oh, this could be a fun prank to somebody. Oh, this is cool. Oh, God, no. Oh, I'm leaving a trail. Look how pretty the light looks when it comes through that glass. Oh, <laughs> it's so nice. Now, there's one more potion I gotta try out. I just need to make some glistery melons. So then I can make a mundane one. From there, we get a block of coal, and we drop that in here. And we make this a potion of combustion. Let's make it into splash. And if this is what I think it is, it's gonna be really fiery. Now, while we're here, let's do one more. Now, we already have these awkward potions. Let's put a glycerin melon in here, add some glowstone, and this gives us healing too. Now, we're gonna put a fermented spider eye in here, and this is gonna turn it into harmony. But now, I add a golden apple to this, and this makes us a potion of pacifism. Let's make it a little stronger. And we're doing this with absolutely zero knowledge, so I don't know if this is gonna really work or do what I'm thinking it's gonna do. But we're gonna try it anyway. So we got our splash potions of combustion here and splash potions of pacifism. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> Let's test this out. Oh, here we go. Piggy, hello. Um, no, you're too cute to kill. Oh, these guys, they're definitely not as cute. All right, chicken and sheep. Let's test this out. Do you spontaneously combust? Yep. You do! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! No no no! Stay! Oh, stay underneath the tree! It looks like you're fine underneath the tree. Oh no, you're not actually. You're gonna burn no matter what. Yeah, you're gone. Okay, that's a very deadly concoction right there. You're lucky, B. You missed it. You're cute though. I wouldn't have hurt you. All right. So this is gonna go in our arsenal for future reference. Now for the pacifist potion, let's test it out on our old friends over here. Huh? Where have they gone? Are they scared of me? Oh, here we go. All right, come over here. I need a bunch of you in this group. All right, does this work? Um, no, no, does not work. Confirmed, does not work on this. Okay, okay, settle down, settle down, settle down. Oh, no, all right, I'm gone. <laughs> now that didn't work, and I am a porcupine again. All my expert level alchemists, let me know. What does that do? <laughs> I need to know. Now to finish off our alchemy day, I'm gonna make a lovely potion bag. There we go. And I can use this thing to store all my potions. But you know what? This has been an awesome day. Thank you everybody for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Hopefully with a lot less murder.